everybody. This is Miss Randall here. I hope you guys are doing well over there. Uh, this week, I'm going to show you guys how to make a little origami house to kind of show um, how we're feeling about our shelter in place and how staying at home is going to um, really help us to get through this. And here's mine that I made. I'm not really finished it, but it's my little house. I have some positive messages, um, and I'm decorating the windows and doors, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you how to make one of these, um, and then we can share them uh, via Seesaw or however, whatever platform you guys are using. Okay, so what you want to start with is a piece of paper. Or if you have cardstock, which is a, a um, thicker paper or any kind of, it doesn't have to be white, whatever you have. Um, this is usually eight and a half by 11. It's a typical uh, printer paper size. So, and you're gonna have, wanna have some writing utensils, any colors to decorate your house with. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you're going to fold your paper, what we call hamburger style okay and that you want to fold corner to corner make sure that you crease your um your creases that means you could take a, a marker you could take anything and just kind of make sure that you have a nice uh, solid crease and then you want to open it up there you go you see your nice crease there just remember in origami which is the art of folding the creases are very important Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to fold it now, what's called hot dog style, long ways. Remember, line up your corners. Okay, I always like to hold it in the middle and come down and then on one side and the other side. And again, you want to take whatever you can to just really get that crease nice and crisp. Okay, then you're going to open it up. Oops. Okay, and now you have one this way and one this way. So the one going horizontal, side to side, you're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna fold it to that middle crease right there. Okay, and then the same thing you're gonna do from the top. I'm gonna just switch it around because it's easy for me and then lining it up the best that you can. Just like that. Then you're gonna open it up and you have all these sections. Okay, one, two, three lines, and then we have one down the middle. Now you wanna refold it now, hamburger, this way, okay? So now you have your hamburger folded and you have these three creases in the middle. Then we're gonna make the roof. So you're gonna take where it is closed, it's open here, but it's closed right here, and you're gonna take this corner and you're gonna fold it to that first crease line. You're pretty much lining up this line with that line and folding like a little triangle, okay? Hold it up. If you have a hard cardstock, this is gonna be a little harder to fold. Remember using your little tool, whatever tool you can to make the crease really nice. Other side too, remember the hold part, fold, I mean, sorry, the closed part, open part. You're folding on the closed part, okay? And then you're gonna put it do that, you're lining up this and your first crease into a little triangle, okay? This is pretty simple origami. So just remembering to get your creases nice and creased, okay? If you want to be really, really diligent, that means doing the best and the most to get your house to be the best that it can be, you kind of want to flip it around and do the other side here too and just kind of make that crease. That's just, origami is very much like that. Sometimes you bend it back so that you can get your paper to do what you want, okay? So now you're ready to make your house. So you're just gonna kind of hold it up like this, open up that thing and kind of fold on that crease a little bit like this, kind of folding it maybe over a little. You don't have to do it like that, but you can just, if you wanna do all the way like that, you can. And then the other side, opening it up. See that little crease is 
opening it up a little bit like this. And you're gonna go up this way. And then now you have your house. Okay, now you are welcome to, when you start drawing on it, it's, it's good to make it like this so you can draw flat here and do what you need to do. Maybe open it up and do it the other way, this way. Do the same thing so you can, or if you wanna just go on the middle here too, you can do it like that on the other side, okay, to start decorating. So I did that, I started decorating, right? So I made like some roofs, some lines, my door, um, a little window, okay? But that's actually going outside, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. You're just gonna decorate it however you want to, okay? Maybe you're gonna have some weird shaped windows, you know, some cool little designs or patterns, which is a repeated line, shape, or color. And then inside, maybe you wanna have some really, some positive message, right? Stay home, stay safe. Maybe I'm gonna put hashtag, I know you guys all know what hashtags are, wash your hands, okay? Maybe other hashtags, maybe you're gonna draw a little mask because now we have to be wearing a mask. And we just wanna remind people that it's okay that we are out here together. Alone, but together, okay? Spread love, not fear. And even inside here, I'm gonna kind of use the inside for like a little journaling. So if you wanna get like a pen and maybe, you know, maybe you're just going to write positive things like, we will get through this, right? Or Enjoy the sunshine. Or you're, or maybe you're not feeling the best that day. Like today, I'm not feeling so, as good as I was yesterday. That's okay. I could maybe put something like, today, I feel sad. I miss my students, you guys. I miss you guys so much. I miss going to eat at my favorite restaurant. You can write anything. This can be like your little private journaling or it cannot be private, however you want, right? So there, I'm just, that's my little private journaling in there. And I really want to see what kind of positive messages you guys can come up with. If you have colors at home, you can color in. If you have magazines, you can collage. Collaging is when you cut out different things and paste them on there. If you have scissors and you can decorate this little house however you want. If you want to make it just like the, your house right now, you can do that. If you want to make it on, you know, a make-believe house, you know, or your dream house or something, you can do that, okay? So go ahead and start to make your house and feel free to rewind this video and watch it again. Well, I hope uh, you guys had fun making your little house and I can't wait to see what you created and what kind of sayings that you have uh, for everybody about staying home or what kind of house you have, or what you see in your window. Um, it was really fun making this. I, I think I'm gonna continue, um, obviously, because I have a lot of white space I need to finish, and you know how I feel about finishing your white space, or coloring in your white space, or the composition, right? The arrangement of things on your paper. So I obviously am not finished. Um, so when you guys finish, um, I guess you can post it or send your teacher pictures or however you guys share your work. I'd love to see it. I'm excited. Have a good one. See you next week.